Number six then from the 2007 Higher Maths Paper 2. Straight away you notice at the bottom you see this dreaded figure and the word maximises and you think, oh no, it's the optimisation question, yes, yes, optimisation, it's not that bad. There's two parts to it. The second part is just like a trivial turning point question, just finding a stationary value by differentiating. And the first part's only like second year geometry normally. So what have you got here? It even breaks it down for you. Find the exact value of ST for one mark. Well, ignoring the shape in the middle, ST just forms the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle with sides 10 and 10, so you could set it out that way if you liked. You could say ST squared is 10 squared plus 10 squared, 100 plus 100, which is 200. So ST is the square root of 200. Now 200 is of course 100 times two, I could have stated it there, but there's other ways you could do it which is 10 root 2. So the exact value is 10 root 2. But you didn't need to do that, because you also know that if you've got an isosceles right angle triangle, that will be half of a square, so you've got 45 degrees at the corners. The simple ratio of the sides are 1, 1 root 2. So the hypotenuse is always root 2 times whatever one of the lengths are. So straight away, if the length of the side is 10, the hypotenuse in that type of triangle would have to be 10 root 2. Second bit, given the breadth of the decking is x, find the area of this decking in here. This is the part you're actually looking for, this rectangle. What's the area of that rectangle? Well, I'm a bit messy. If that side is x and we've got half of a square, that means those angles are 45 degrees, so that's also a 45 degree isosceles triangle, because if that's 45 and that's obviously 90, then that's also 45, then straight away that distance must be x. And by symmetry, that distance must be x. So the length of the decking would have to be the length of st, which was 10 root 2, minus 2 lots of x. So that the area you're looking for, which would be length times breadth, which would be L times X. Express just in terms of X, means replace the L by that, would be 10 root 2 minus, but hasty, 2X multiplying X, which gives you 10 root 2X minus 2X squared. As required. Hmm. Now that wasn't so bad really, was it? Find the dimensions of the decking which maximises the area for five marks. So it maximises the area. Optimisation. That simply means find a stationary point. You're only going to get an optimum value if something takes a turn and then comes back the opposite way. Otherwise, it's just increasing forever. And there's no optimum. It's just a case of how far do you want to go. So it's just like finding stationary points. So I take my A of X and I differentiate it. So that's going to be 10 root 2 minus 4X. And then I've got the same sort of statement I would have for stationary points. Only I won't say stationary. I'll just say optimum. There'll be an optimum value if a dashed x is ever equal to 0. If 10 root 2 minus 4x is ever equal to 0. And that's quite easy to solve, because that just means 4x is going to equal 10 root 2, taking over reading backwards. So x is going to be, dividing by 4, is 5 upon 2 root 2. Then, now that I know what x is, I can find L back from this original expression here. If x equals 5 upon 2 root 2, that means that l is going to be 10 root 2 minus twice. I'll just put two times 5 upon 2 root 2. Now the 2s will cancel out, making it just 10 take away 5 root 2. I'll put that down anyway. 10 root 2 minus 5 root 2, which is 5 root 2. Maximum area for dimensions, L equals 5 root 2, X equals 5 upon 2 root 2.
Now, one other thing I would do just for safety would be, even though the question said maximum area, I would still demonstrate that that produces a maximum by putting down a table, a nature table. It was at 5 upon 2 root 2 for x, what happens before, what happens after, and the expression for the derivative was 10 root 2 minus 4x. Then I'll just pick something just before and just after. So I think quite safely before that would be 1, because that's just like root 2, 1.4 into that goes more than one time. And then something quite safely after that would be 5, I suppose. And they just put that in and see what you get. So you've got 10 root 2 minus 4. So that'll be positive. That comes to 0. And if I take away 20, which is a lot more than that, because 10 twos are 20, that's going to be negative. So in fact, it does look like that. I do have a, a maximum there. Right. That was it then. Maximum area for those dimensions. Wasn't too bad at all. Oh.